filming a August favorites and this is my first ever YouTube video and I'm not gonna lie I'm kind of scared what about sitting in front of a camera makes people nervous I don't know but it's very nerve-wracking so I'm just gonna jump right in my first favorite is the Tarte Tartlet palette and I know this came out a while ago but I'm a little late getting on board with it um, I just got it in July from BeautyCon. I got a super good deal on it. I was really excited about it, but it's just it's some really nice mattes. Tarte has amazing eyeshadows. Their clay eyeshadows are just they're gorgeous. They blend really nicely. They're so smooth, and these are all matte, so they're perfect for when you want don't want some, anything really flashy. So gorgeous, love them. My Next favorite is another eyeshadow palette. Um, it is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. This palette is amazing. It's got a few sh uh, shimmeries, some mattes, so it's a perfect combination of every whoop, perfect combination of um, mattes and shimmers. Um, really, really pretty and. Can I just say, this palette smells amazing. I know that sounds really weird, but it legitimately smells like chocolate. It makes me want hot chocolate every single time I open it and use it. But also really smooth, soft shadows, um, very blendable, just really, really pretty. Next is a foundation. Um, Really, um, lately I'm obsessed with Tarte because I just have such amazing stuff. So my current favorite foundation is the Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation, um, again by Tarte. It's oil-free, which is always a plus for anyone that's got oily skin, and it's 12-hour. And I feel like I've never put it to the test and seen if it lasts a full 12 hours, but I do feel like it lasts a decent amount of time. And it's just, it's got really nice coverage. It's actually what I'm wearing today. <laughs> um, it's got really nice coverage, definitely full. Um, hides all that ugliness that we don't want to show people. Um, next is more by Tarte. <laughs> Their um, Amazonian clay blushes are amazing. Their, the color is just phenomenal. Um, <clears throat> I have two that are my favorites. One is called Savored, and one is called Blushing Bride. Blushing Bride is just a really nice um, pink, like natural pink. Um, I don't know if you can see because it's so light, but get a better swatch here. Nope, you can't see. <laughs> I really like anything that's really natural and subtle so this is perfect for me um, it's matte so when if you if you're oily and you don't want that extra glow uh, matte is really good to go with um, so yeah I love this really nice pink it's also what I have on today so you can see it's very subtle and perfect um, savored is a little bit darker if you apply it lightly um, you can still get a really nice just natural flush um, this one is shimmery. I don't know if you can see, but it is. This one is shimmery, so it's it's great for when you want um, a little extra glow, um, especially for like a, a night out or anything like that. So next is some lip products. Um, two of these are N Y X. They they are the um, Intense Butter Gloss, and this one is a little intense for me. Um, but it was a freebie at BeautyCon, so who doesn't like free? But these are amazing. They have super, super high pigment, and they're just gorgeous. This one's like a really electric pink. This one's more of a nice um, dark mauve-y color, and they just have such good color payoff, and I love them. Let's see here. So swatches this is the darker one this is a little bit lighter they're just gorgeous very very pigmented and then the next lip product is actually a Sephora product this one is their cream lip stain 
Um, also amazing, it's what I have on today as well. Um, it's This is just a really nice um, mauve natural color, a little bit darker than natural, but I'm not really experimental with my lip color. I just like something natural and nice. Um, so I love mauve lip colors. Um, this one <clears throat> is just a really nice mauve color. It's this bottom one right here. Um, it stains amazingly. Like I, This lasted me through my lunch, so that's impressive to me. Um, it's nice and matte, which is also awesome. Um, I, it's for me. It's really hard to find lip stains that actually stain. And as long as you're not like wiping your mouth off after you eat or drink or anything, this stains really well. Um, and I really like it. I love the color. Love the way it goes on. Very pigmented. It's just it's beautiful. I love it. Um, my next favorites are some eyeliners, both by N Y X. This one is the uh, NYX Matte Liquid Liner. Um, it just comes in the, it's like a, like the kind you paint on. <laughs> um, it's a really fine tip, which I, is really nice for me for when you want that nice thin, thin line. And the best part about it is that it's matte. It's very matte and I love it. This is amazing. Um, the best part about it is that it's NYX, so it's like $7 at Ulta. Ulta is the only place that I've been able to find it, Ulta or NYX's website. Um, but even some Ulta's, it's really hard to come by. My next favorite eyeliner is the NYX Gel Liner and Smudger. Just comes in a little, a little pot like this. This one is in jet black. I'm not sure if you can see that, but jet black. It just... Um, has really good color payoff. It's the perfect amount of creamy, um, and so it doesn't tug really hard on your eyelids, um, but not so creamy that it's like runny. So this one's really nice. Love this stuff. My current favorite mascara is another Tarte. I told you I was obsessed. Um, the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, and I know this has kind of been around for a while, um, but I actually got it in a gift set for Christmas, so that was the first time I'd ever used it, and was amazed by it. Like, I love it. It's just, it's really good for people with thin lashes, like me, sadly, um, because it's a, it's not a really thick formula, and it's just, the brush is nice and small. So it's just like a, your standard mascara wand, but it's nice and it separates the lashes really nicely. I love it. It's great. Um, and then um, I recently got the Tarte Lash Curler. At first I thought, the first time I saw it, it's $18. I was like, that's insane. Why would anyone ever pay that much for an eyelash curler? You can get them from e.l.f. for like $2 so or a dollar. I don't even know. But So I thought the first time, the first time I saw it, I thought that was insane. Then when I went to BeautyCon in July, they had them on sale and I wanted to try it out. So I got it, tried it, and I love it. I have to say, I think I would pay the $18 for it, which again sounds insane, but I think I would do it because it's amazing. It's The pad on it is a really soft silicone. I don't know if you can see it. Sorry if it's a little dirty. Um, but it's a really soft silicone, so it provides a more rounded curl rather than that really like angled curl that a lot of the cheaper um, lash curlers tend to do. So this really round and perfect natural curl every time. Love it. Would totally recommend it. If you buy it full price, it comes with a little Lights Camera Lashes sample. Next is some hair care products. Um, this was another BeautyCon freebie. Um, it's the Moisture and Vitamin B5 Weightless Oil Mist by OGX. I'm not sure how you say that. But it's just, uh, you can see it. I've used quite a bit of it because I love it. It smells really nice. It just, uh, it's just, it's pretty. It smells 
it's just nice. <laughs> um, it's really a really lightweight on your hair, so that's great. I have a ton of hair, super thick hair, so anything lightweight is always a plus for me. Um, but it just, I feel like it really makes my hair a lot softer. I just, I spritz it in all over after I get out of the shower and my hair is still wet. Um, and it, I feel like it makes it a lot softer. Um, and it add, definitely adds shine. It's, it's really pretty. Um, so this stuff is really nice. I think you can get this, I mean, you can get this at like Target for probably six or seven dollars. Um, well worth the try. Um, and then the other one is Style Sexy Hair 450 Degree Blowout. Um, it is a heat protectant and blow dry assistant. Um, so I, when my hair is wet when I get out of the shower, I just spritz it in all over um, and then blow dry my hair with it. it. It's really nice to give yourself a blowout with. Um, it makes your hair really soft and shiny, adds a lot of shine. Um, and again, it's a um, blow dry assistant, which is really good, especially for somebody like me that has a ton of hair. Any help I can get to blow dry my hair faster is welcomed. So this is really nice. This one's a little more pricey. You can get it at Ulta. It's the only place I've ever seen it. You might be able to get it from Target. I know some Targets carry the Style Sexy Hair collection, but um, Ulta, it's like $18, but worth it. And the last thing that I have is this Tree Hut Shea Moisturizing Body Lotion in Coconut Lime. This smell is to die for. It is so sweet, and seriously, it smells like you could eat it. I wouldn't recommend that, but it smells so good. And it's just, it's a, the lotion itself is really nice. It's all, it's organic, so it's, there's no, none of that, no parabens and none of that other crap that you don't want to be putting all over your body. Um, so that's definitely a huge plus. This is this is very inexpensive as well. I think it's like four or five dollars. I've seen this at Walmart. I think you can get it from Ulta. Target may carry it. Um, yes, it, but it smells amazing and works really well. I love it. So that's it. That is all of my August favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, like I said, this is my my first video, so. Any constructive criticism is greatly appreciated. Um, like and share my video if you liked it. Um, subscribe if you feel like it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and I will hopefully see you in my next video. Bye!